the assistant gunner withdraws the barrel by grasping the bipod legs and inserts the new barrel into the receiver. Now the gunner lowers the barrel locking lever. The barrel change is completed. Barrels are changed in a matter of seconds. Frequent changes avoid overheating of the barrel and increase the effective sustained fire capability of the gun. Saving your barrel may save your life. The machine gun breaks down into six groups for general disassembly in the field. Number one, the buttstock group. Number two, the buffer group, consisting of the buffer and the buffer locking plate. Number three, the operating group, which includes the operating rod, the bolt, the operating rod drive spring, and the operating rod drive spring guide. Number four, the trigger housing group, consisting of the trigger housing, the spring lock, and the front trigger housing holding pin. Number five is the barrel group, which includes the barrel socket, the barrel, the gas cylinder, the bipod, the flash suppressor, and the front sight. Number six is the receiver group. With the barrel locking lever, the rear sight, the feed cover, and the feed plate. In general, many parts of the groups have been designed to be replaced as complete assemblies. This should make repairs of individual parts by using units almost unnecessary. We shall now see how the M60 functions. Each time a cartridge is fired, the parts of the machine gun move in a given sequence and perform definite jobs. This is known as the cycle of functioning. For instructional purposes, this cycle will be divided into eight steps. The first step is feeding, which is positioning the cartridge ready for chambering. The second step is chambering, the function of seating the round in the chamber. The third step is locking the bolt inside the barrel, thus holding the cartridge seated in the chamber so that gas pressure will be maintained in the barrel to propel the bullet. The fourth step is firing, ignition of the primer of the cartridge in the chamber. Step five, is unlocking the bolt from the barrel. Step six is extraction of the empty cartridge case from the chamber. In step seven, the empty cartridge case is ejected from the gun. And step eight is cocking. These eight functions happen one after another and so rapidly as to be almost simultaneous. The cyclic rate of fire of the M60 machine gun is approximately 550 rounds per minute. This means that a bullet leaves the muzzle each tenth of a second while the gun is being fired. With the help of an oversized model, we'll be able to see exactly what goes on inside the gun. In this film, the functions of the gun will be demonstrated step by step. But remember, in actuality, these occur very fast and overlap each other. This is the belt holding pawl on the feed plate. Feeding begins when the first round is positioned over the pawl. The purpose of the pawl is to prevent the rounds from falling out of the feedway. Before you see the movements of the parts in feeding, note the location of the actuating cam roller on top of the bolt. As the bolt moves, the roller moves. As the bolt is moved rearward, the actuating cam roller moving in the feed cam forces the feed cam to move to the left and the feed cam lever and belt feed paws to move to the right. As the feed cam lever and the feed paws move to the right, they pull the first round with them 
and position it in the feed plate groove. The first round is now in front of the bolt and directly behind the chambering ramp. The bolt is carried forward by the operating rod. The actuating cam roller now moves the feed cam to the right. This moves the belt feed paws to the left. Let's repeat the action. The feed paws slide over the second round in the belt and then to the left of the round. The feed paws will stay here until the bolt moves to the rear. This completes the first step, feeding.